Ladies and gentlemen, dear Kiriakos, dear Anita, dear Margaritis, dear Vangelis, dear Tanasis, dear friends from Neo Democrazia, Kalimera. Speaking, speaking here from this stage in Sapion, I must confess that uh, I am very excited. This is where I launched my European campaign in 2019. Five years and many challenges later, look how far we have come together. Today, Neo Democracia is by far the strongest party in Greece and the EPP is by far the strongest party in Europe. Great success. Dear friends, today you celebrate your 50th anniversary. In 1974, Konstantinos Karamanalis returned to Greece to restore democracy. He knew that Europa was not just a chapter in history books. It was the future of a democratic and prosperous Greece. While Greek socialists were campaigning against Europe and NATO, Karamanlis founded a new political party, Neo Demokratia, to fight for Europe. He said in the Greek parliament, I quote, Greece, politically, defensively, economically, culturally, belongs to the West. And it was here, here, between these marvelous columns, that in 1979, Karamanlis signed Greece's entry into Europe. Dear friends, that's your history, that's your heritage, that's Neo Democratia, the party of Europe in Greece. And dear Kyriakos, you are today continuing this success story. Your leadership has not only brought Greece back, it has put Greece at the head of Europe. After the bad and horrible government of Tsipras, you took a stagnant country and turned it into Europe's fastest growing economy. My country, dear friends, Germany, is now in a stagnation. The economy is in a stagnation under the left-wing government in Berlin, while Greece, governed by the EPP, is one of the economic powerhouses of Europe. Congratulations for this success story. And I give you a second argument for this today's leadership. You have always stood up, for example, to Erdogan to protect our European borders. Uh, you were a few weeks ago together with Ursula von der Leyen, our Commission President, in Egypt, to show that together we can secure our borders. The state authorities decide who is entering into Europe and not the smugglers decide who is entering into Europe. You cannot blackmail the European Union thanks to the strong Greek government. Thank you so much for this. And you are also leading Europe's support for Ukraine. You responded to Putin's bombing only a few hundred meters from where you were meeting President Zelensky by sending more weapons to Ukraine. Dear friends, that is leadership. Kyriakos, you are one of the strongest voices on the table of the European Council. You have the respect also internationally, also in Washington. You have restored the confidence in a strong Greece, both on European and international level, and also above everything among the Greek citizens. That is EPP leadership at its best. Thank you so much, Kyriakos. Dear friends, 2024 
will now be again a super election year. Half of the world will go to the polls. India, Mexico, our American friends. And on the 9th of June, on Sunday, the 9th of June, we Europeans will also face our most important election in recent history. The world, let's be honest, is less and less safe. And with a possible second Trump presidency that could leave us even more vulnerable to our enemies. So the 9th of month of June is about security. Global competition is getting also tougher, dear friends. In 2015, China and Europe had the same share of global GDP. China continued to grow. We didn't. From raw materials to the most sophisticated data to win the Euro colleagues, Europe must become smarter than its competitors. The 9th of June is about our economic future in Europe. And nationalism is on the rise. We have a party in my home country in Germany, the AFD, that says openly, this Europe must die, we want to destroy Europe. The 9th of June, dear friends, is about our European future. Extremists from the right and from the left, Varoufakis and Le Pen, they all have one thing in common, dear friends. They want to destroy Europe, they don't want to improve it. I give you a few examples. They speak about stopping smugglers, but in the European Parliament they vote against strengthening Frontex. They are telling people that we are on the side of farmers, but in the European Parliament, they vote against the agriculture subsidies. And they talk about how strong they love their nation, but at the end, they are Putin's puppets. That's the reality of these nationalists. Dear friends, we also know as EPP that Europe is not perfect, but for us, for the EPP, Europe is our home, a home that protects our democracy, creates prosperity and ensures that we can live our European way of life. When we proposed this term of the European way of life five years ago at the beginning of this mandate, we were heavily attacked in the European Parliament, but we stood by it, by our European way of life. The different cultures on European level, linked by the Jewish Christian tradition, by our idea of a welfare state, of the social market economy, by democracy, by tolerance, by rule of law and above everything, by the idea of freedom in Europe. That makes us, dear friends, Europeans. When we see today a marketplace, a European marketplace, with the churches, with the fontaines, with the cafes, with the shops, we know immediately, dear friends, that we are not in China, in America, in Africa. Everybody knows we are in Europe. Europe is a special place. It's our home, dear friends, and we will not allow anyone to spoil it. We will defend it, dear friends. We will defend it. And when we talk about the European way of life, one name immediately comes to my mind, and it's a Greek one, a Greek name. The most important Greek politicians in Brussels, working in Brussels, dear friends, it's a man who is responsible for protecting the European way of life. That's the title of his portfolio. You know whom I mean, it's the Vice President of the European Commission, Margaritis Kinas. Thank you so much for your great work. And you know, he's also the man of the impossible missions. He managed now the migration pact. We will vote next week in the European Parliament on this. So you even make the impossible things possible on the European level. Thank you so much for doing so. The left, dear colleagues, lectures. The far right spreads fears all over Europe. And the EPP 
We love to solve problems. That's how the EPP has built up today's euro. That is the nature, the DNA, the Gaspari, Adenauer and Schumann gave us. And that's how the EPP will continue to build our Europe. Let me talk today about two priorities for the next upcoming five years. The first point is security. You know, I come from Bavaria, and in the Bavarian parliament in Munich, we have a great image of the Battle of Salamania. A few Greeks defeating a thousand Persians to save their freedom, democracy against empire. That was the history. And when we look what is happening today in Ukraine, dear friends, I have the same thinking in mind. A dictator with imperial ambitions trying to occupy a free country of Ukraine and a few brave men who are defending now democracy in Ukraine. 2,000 years of Greek history tells us what uh, happens when democracies are ready to defend themselves, when empires are defending, are trying to attack us, like in Salamania or in Marathon. That is why we must build up now our European defence capabilities. A commissioner for defence on European level, a common defence market to bring our companies together, to produce together, to innovate together. We also need a common defence budget on the European level. We need a missile defence shield to protect our skies. And we need a cyber brigade, your friends, to protect our hospitals, companies and the critical infrastructure from new cyber threats. The Putins of the world know exactly only one language, and that is strength. They stop only when they see that they will be defeated. That's why we must have the means, we must have the will, and we must have the strength to protect our European Union. Dear colleagues, and the second item I want to mention is the economic success. Socialists like to lecture people on how they should live. Timmermans is a perfect example for this. But they often forget how people actually live. Their big dream is often turned out into a bureaucratic nightmare. And the far left tells us to be open to the world. But when it comes, for example, to trade agreements with Canada, for example, then they oppose to such kind of trade agreements. To whom should we trade if not to the Canadians? Sorry, with the moon or to whom should we trade them? That's why the EPP, for us, Europe is a place not of ban, but of more bureaucracy. For us, it's a place of growth, of jobs, of innovation. Voting for EPP means voting for a competitive Europe that breaks down barriers for businesses, not creates new ones. Voting for us means voting for an innovative Europe that leads in the digital world and in climate policy, not lecturing about them. And voting for us means voting for a Europe that creates quality jobs. The best social policy is a successful economic policy that benefits everyone. Dear friends, the challenges are great, but we have passionate, hard-working people to tackle them, like our Greek team in the European Parliament, which is doing an incredible job under the leadership of Vangelis Maimarakis. Vangelis, we know you as a strong national politician, you have a lot of experience, and we know you as a strong European politician. You are exactly the symbol for this bridge builder between the different levels. We are the party of subsidiarity, that's why national interests are always close to us. And that's why I want to make a special thank you to you, to the whole team in the European Parliament, to all colleagues working there. So, Vangelis, thank you so much for your friendship. Thank you so much.
And let me also add a special thank you to the Secretary General of the EPP Party, who is working on my side to make our European People's Party every day stronger. Tanasis Vakodas, thank you so much, Tanasis, for all your efforts. So, Kyriakos, you have a great uh, European team. You see it there. Dear colleagues, let me come to the end. Voting for the democracy in the upcoming elections means voting for the European People's Party. Together, we are currently, and we will be in the future, the biggest group in the European Parliament. We shape all the important decisions there. We are, dear colleagues, the biggest party on the Council table. We have, in the meanwhile, 13 Prime Ministers from the EPP. Socialists have four, Liberals have five, and EPP have 13 Prime Ministers on the Council table, and Kyriakos is one of the strongest ones among them. Together we are the party of Roberta Metzola and Ursula von der Leyen, two strong ladies in the lead of strong European institutions in the EPP family. And together we are the party with the biggest number of governors, of mayors. We are the mayor's party and Apostolos knows exactly that I am so honored to call ourselves the mayor's party with you also in the lead. Let's be proud about this. Thank you to all governors, to all mayors for your hard work. That's what the DNA of EPP is all about. We are the mayor's party. Dear Kyriakos, thank you for your leadership. Dear friends of Neo Demokratia, some busy campaign months are now in front of us. Let's not be shy. Let's speak with optimism. Let's stand up and fight for our ideas. We are the powerhouse of Europe. We are the true European People's Party. Thank you so much and good luck for the next days.